Hey everyone, I'm Sly and I'm here with D. And we got news yesterday on Jake Paul's IG that he's back in camp, D. So that means hopefully within the next less than a month, he could find a new opponent, officially announce it. So D, what are your thoughts on him coming back? He's ready to go. He's back in camp. Looks dedicated. What do you think, man? Um, I'm excited to see him. I, as you guys know, like I'm a low key like Jay Paul fan. I think what he's doing is good for the sport of boxing. And I was kind of not worried, but there's been like rumors going around because he is, as you guys know, he's been busy promoting the Amanda Serrano Katie Taylor fight. Yeah. So he's been doing that adventure. Um, about uh, three months ago, he had a fight with Tyron Woolley. So he made it well known that he had three fights last year. He wants to go on a long vacation. So I'm glad mm-hmm. to see him also mm-hmm. uh, back in the ring and um, training again. Um, but there was also um, breakup rumors. Oh, so yeah. uh, about a couple of weeks ago, there was rumors that him and his girlfriend broke up. I'm not really sure who broke up with who. Because if you go on her IG, she, she still has pictures of Jake Paul. If you go on his IG... There's no pictures of her, but they're saying that she dumped them. So I really don't know, but I'm glad he's back in the ring right now training because that'll get his mind easier. Mm-hmm. Even just for like a mental health state of point, you know, like when you're going through stuff, when you just work out, even if it's for, for 30 minutes and get your blood flowing, like that'll just like help clear your mind. So I'm glad that he's back right now training. It'll, you know, take away all like his like um, thoughts as far as like the breakup mm-hmm. or what's uh, what's going hard in his life. And mm-hmm. so I'm excited because, like you said, in a couple of weeks, potentially they could call out an opponent. But I love that he's back in the ring and he's training again because I want to see him fight it soon. Yeah, and hopefully, me personally, hopefully I, I want him to fight uh, Tommy Fury, you know, just because they, they never got to fight each other. I think it would be a big draw, especially for the UK fans, man. They're all talking about it, too. So... I mean, there's a lot of opponents out there right now. I know he's in between because he's still promoting for the big fight coming up. But, I mean, there's only so much he could do for a promotion, especially that the fight, I think, is like two months away. Yeah. Uh, and he's not. So, I mean, it's good for him to get out there and start training, be ready, you know, because, I mean, T- Tommy Fury, he's and look at his IG, man. He's training. So, I mean, all these guys are training. So, it's good and, that he's back. And then it looks like that's a, a potential fight for the future because you guys haven't heard – Chavez Jr. is kind of going through oh, stuff. Yeah, I think he's in rehab, rehab right now. Yeah. And so that kind of put a little bump on the road. So I don't know if that fight's going to happen. And so we're going to see in the undercard with the uh, Dillian White, Tyson Fury, how uh, Tommy does in it. And mm-hmm. then so if he performs good, A, they're going to, for sure, they're going to be asking him after the fight, mm-hmm. who do you want next? And he's going to call out Jake Paul. Yeah. And then because he's on the undercard, a lot of the people from the UK, it's a UK fight, mm-hmm. so a lot of the people in the arena are gonna like know who Tommy is, yeah. and that'll be his opportunity to get the fans behind him, mm-hmm. and they call out Jake, and then that'll be a massive fight because then you got the whole UK country, oh yeah, and then you got everybody in America who wants to see Jake Paul get knocked out, mm-hmm. and then so that'll <laughs> be big numbers right oh, there, heck yeah. Um, so that's uh, looking like the direction it's heading. Um, but again, we're gonna have to see. He just back in the ring right now. He's training. Mm-hmm. Um, I think every day he's been posting like a little bit more and more of like what he's doing. Mm-hmm. So I saw like on a TikTok that he was hitting um, the striking pad mm-hmm. on his IG story. He was like showing some shoes and like mm-hmm. what his gym looked like. Yeah. And so just uh, just wait and see. And then um, I'm sure like within a couple of weeks we'll get some big news. All right, guys, that's all we got for this episode. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.